Hey guys, it's Julie from Table for Two, and today we have a very special guest. Her name is Chuno, and she is going to be showing us how to make homemade kimchi. Thank you so much for coming. I am so excited. We eat so much kimchi, and making it at home is just going to be so much more cost efficient. So, take it away. Why, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what do we need to make homemade kimchi? Well, first of all, you need Nepa cabbage. You can buy it at any Asian market. I bought these at the H Mart. And also, if you, that's for the Nepa kimchi. And if you want a relish kimchi, I am partial to Korean relish because Korean relish are kind of, kind of squatty and they're sweeter. Whereas a Japanese one, they call it daikan relish. They're long and skinny. And to me, they're good for different purposes, but not for Korean making. Korean kimchi purposes. So what I do is I peel this one because they don't look that good. And then and I cut it to uh, by sizes, about, about this size or so. I'll show you in a second. And then I also cut this one to by sizes so that it will be comfortable to fit in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't want a big chunk, right? No, no. So it's a very simple. I like, what I like it is I like make simple kimchi where you don't need a lot of ingredients and um, you, it's readily, readily available in any stores, even at American stores. So this is never cabbage. What I do is basically, I kind of rinse it off a little bit outside and I cut in half. And also I cut it another half like this or so. And I kind of go oh. like that. Oh wow, that's easy. Yeah. And then I cut the other one like this or so. And then pull. And then I just uh, cut it to buy size how I like. Just like that, cut it. About, about an inch, inch and a half, okay, and then cut it off at the top here. Oh yeah, you don't and want there, that. No, you don't want that. And then basically what you do is you put it in the bowl, big bowl you need, <laughs> <laughs> because it's really bulky. So after you get all this chopped, it doesn't take very long at all. I didn't know you were left-handed. I am left-handed. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. So I used uh, about five pounds of a cabbage, and I put about, about a half cup of uh, salt. Oh, this is special salt. This salt is a sea salt. And salt is a very important ingredient in the kimchi making because if you get like a Morton salt, you know those not very good salts, kimchi gets soggy and it has a bitter taste. But when you get good salt, such as kosher salt or pure sea salt, and this is a kind of coarse, I like a coarse grain like this, like that. I don't know why, but I like it. And mostly people make a kimchi, they use coarse salt like this, okay? So what I do is I find that I take about half a cup of, for five pounds, about half cup of a salt. It seems like a lot, but after when it, about two hours of uh, marinating it, you uh, you want to wash it off, so it's not that much. Do we want to show them like what it actually looks like? Yes. So after like two hours, she did this hours. earlier, it's like really, ooh, yeah. look at it's that. Yeah, it like this, okay? So anyway, so what I do is I take a half cup of salt. This is only about, the one I got is about only about three pounds of cabbage. So then I'm gonna use about one third of a cup of salt instead of a half a cup. Okay. But so this is about, hmm. oh yeah, it's like perfect, half yeah, a cup. Half a <laughs> cup, or I want a little bit smaller amount, so I want only a quarter? A quarter of the one third, so okay, yeah, about one third cup of salt. Maybe a little bit more, about one third. It's all about eyeballing. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's just an eyeball. And a little bit more, a little bit less, it's not gonna make it too, too much of a difference. And about that, and then I'm gonna put in the bowl, and then I put oh maybe a cup and a half, about a cup of water. Okay, we can do it right here. Oh, okay. A cup and a half. About a cup, one cup of water, or so. It doesn't have to be exact. Okay, there you go. Because I do that because when I put the salt melted, when I put oh. in the cabbage, it waters faster, so it saves time. It's just more efficient this way. And then what I do is, as I go, and I melt it, way I'm cutting this, and I pour over my uh, my cabbage, and I mix it, like there so, and then I put the rest of the 
cabbage, I can. And then while you're mixing it, some, some sizes are too big for you, you just take your knife or your hand, just cut, them, <laughs> just cut them to whatever size you prefer. And then you just like this or so, and then you put a little bit more water, salt water. And then you just mix it up with your hands. Yeah, and then you just mix with your hand. Your hand is a wonderful tool. <laughs> and, <laughs> it is. and Korean people believe, ancient times, everybody's hand has a taste. So when you touch your food, when you're mixing it, what have you, of course you want to wash your hand really well beforehand. And um, you mix with your hand, it brings out unique taste for the person who cooks. It's the love, right? That's the love. <laughs> it, it comes from your hand to your food. So don't afraid to use your hand to do this. And then you just cut it to whatever length you like, and then these things you can discard. Yeah, because they're like all big and hard. Yeah. And then you put some or so. Her bowl is. Her bowl is, yeah, yeah. Very small. <laughs> so if you put the too big a piece, you just. But the, the leaf is not a big, no big deal because when they wilt. Because then when they will, yeah. Yeah, they will. Oh, then shrink. they get shrunk. Yeah. Well, it's not quite shrunk, but they kind of. Yeah. So they don't seem like so bulky. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so and basically then, you just mix it with the salt yeah, water. Yeah, and, and then I, I put the rest of my oh, salt, okay. salt, and then I, and then I mix it with my hand, okay. or so. Mix it really well. If you have a bigger bowl, <laughs> yeah, I need to buy a really bigger well. bowl apparently. <laughs> yeah. So when to make a kimchi, you need a bigger bowl. Yeah. So this is about two and a half, three pound cabbage, and then up you will see. So periodically, you know, mix it once in a while if you want to. So let us set it's kind of. So how long does it sit for? Oh, I left the mine for about two hour, hour and a half, two hours, okay. and then, so this will be. Just let it sit out at room temperature, no fridge or anything? Nothing, just okay. because uh, you don't need to. Right. Because Korean food is, a lot of them is a design, olden days we didn't have a refrigeration, oh. so their food is designed to just let that out. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So you just toss a few times, okay. and then you just kind of press down oh, on okay. it. Okay, like pat it, it down basically. Pat it down, okay. and that's it. And that's it. And cool. The, yeah. And the radish. Oh, and the radish. The radish. Yeah. What I do is I, yeah. Uh, I peel them. Some people they like to wash it really well, but to but you're me, already peeling it. Yeah, I'm peeling it because to me it's cleaner. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, washing that. Yeah, because really the skin can be kind of hard. Yeah, yeah not or only, like tough. Yeah, but then look how dirty they are. Oh, so yeah. You better wash it. How much? It, you right. Know. Yeah. So do this, and then you wash it. Rinse it off once. Okay. And then. There you go. Okay. Yeah. It's very efficient. And then you cut it Ooh. to whatever size you like. I like to cut about about an inch or so. Or so. And then I cut it to bite size. So I cut it. It depends on the the size of a radish. So I cut about about an inch. Yeah. So they're like inch cubes. Yeah. About an inch cube at by a baby. One eighth of an inch. Okay. It's just a thin piece like this. Yeah. It's like bite size. Like so bite it's like, size. Yeah. So when you eat them, it, it it's just not like fits in your mouth really right. well. See, exactly. Isn't that bite size? Yeah, it is perfect. Bite size. Yeah. And then you can even eat them while you taste. You know, <laughs> they're good. Ah. Oh. And then you cut like this. Mmm. Very good. Yeah. Radish. Mm -hmm. it's my, my favorite in kimchi. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Some people like to mix with the kimchi, but I like radish kimchi as itself because it has its own distinct flavor. Mm. But you, if you want to, you can also mix in with that cabbage and you can just marinate it together and then you can just do it together. Or you can do separate. In this case, I want to do separately. And so I'm going to do the same thing. I'll take a, oh, this is about two and a half pounds. So I'm going to take about one third cup of salt about a one cup of water, mix it, and then I'm gonna just toss it just like that in a big bowl. Okay. And then it be looking like this, and it's, I smell it for about an hour. It and looks soft already. It's uh -huh. like really, it's like the difference is like. Right, right, and, yeah. tastes, and it tastes good even as itself. Taste one. Without yeah. even seasoning? Yeah, no, it has that like salty, briny taste. Right, yeah. exactly. Oh, so that's, that's what good. we will do. 
Okay, so right. we will do that. Okay. So what I do is while I'm washing this, uh, okay. the ones that marinated, I cut and then I wash after I wash it. While I'm doing after when, while it's a draining, I will prepare my onions and garlic. And by the time I'm done with that, then it'll be ready to mix in. Okay? Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, so I'm can... gonna go ahead and wash this in the sink. Okay. Okay. Now I wash the the marinated uh, ca lepa cabbage and also radish. And uh, now I'm gonna cut, um, prepare my ingredients to put it in the seasonings actually for the kimchi. So to garlic, you have to peel. I put about about five pounds of uh, cabbage. I put a one whole bulb of, you know, medium sized bowl of a garlic. And the more you put garlic and onion in it, in my personal experience, tastes better. Besides, it's very good for you. Garlic's so good and everything. Like, and recipes that call for two cloves, I put like five. <laughs> yeah, that would mean I love garlic and onions. Yes. And uh, yeah, like Julie said, and health benefit is a phenomenal. So what I do, I whack them and I peel them. And then, one go. That's one go. <laughs> <laughs> and then what I do is I kind of coarse chop these things. And then I'm gonna put in my blender. Yeah, we have a blender in the back that we're gonna yeah. use. I do, I kind of coarse chop a little bit because when I put the whole garlic in it, it kind of misses some of them, doesn't come out good. So by coarse chopping it, it kind of, it hits the blaze better, I think. Good. Yeah, so I'm gonna put this in, just like that. it doesn't have to be so fine. It's just a coarse, I put the whole thing in the, like that. It smells so good. <laughs> Garlic, yeah, yes, garlic I best. love garlic, garlic bread, garlic whatever, yeah. garlic and everything you can go wrong. And then this is um, for that amount of cabbage, about five pounds, I use but medium size sweet onions. I like sweet onions because it has a mild flavor and it has a nice sweet taste. Mm -hmm. And I'll just coarse cut them, half of a medium onion. It doesn't have to be so fine because I'm going to blend them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then I'm going to add a little bit of water okay. because when I just blend it as itself, it's going to be like a get, paste. Yeah. yeah. So I just put a little bit of water. Okay, up here. How much? Just a little bit. That's good. Okay. I'll say it's about one quarter of a cup. Yeah, that's what it yeah. looks like. Yeah. Okay, and then we're going to blend that thing until right. paste. Until a paste? Yeah, kind of pasty. Awesome. Okay. Oh yeah. wow, this is see nice. Yeah, this is. Mm, oh, it's so good. good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm like crying now. That oh. was a bad idea. Yeah. Woo. And then put it in the bowl. Okay, we'll put it in the bowl. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's a really nice. Yeah. Piece. Oh wow, it's like puree. Right. It's a puree like. Mm. And then we put them all in, we don't want to waste. Yes, no. And then no, I like it. onions. For that, I put about one bunch of uh, onions. Okay. So about five of these onions. Green onions? Green onions. And then chop up the so, ends. So I chop up the ends. And I like my julienne cut. It's simply because I don't like having my kimchi taking a big bite of uh, onions. In yeah. It. So what I do is I cut it in half. Cut in half on the upper part, the white part, and I cut quarter cut them, oh, okay. slice them like that. I do all of them like this. Oh, that ensures that it's like thin. Thin slices. Okay. And then I just cut them about about an inch. You don't have to cut so small. Yeah. And then the white, the green part, what I do is I cut it like this or so, and then I put them together. I cut them like this. Oh wow! So they get julienne cut. Yeah. I can see how that's like so much better than you like. Yeah, and then it brings out all the onion, good onion flavor right, by right. green so because you know big chunk. I don't know. To me, it does. I don't know. I <laughs> I like it that way. No, I I understand. Yes. Yeah. When I've had kimchi and you just get like a big piece like this in your mouth, uh -huh. it's like overpowering. Because, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I just don't like it like that. This way. To me, it tastes better, and you can tell you're eating onions in right. your kimchi. Because some people don't, don't like, they, even though they like onions, they don't really care for onions. Uh -huh. Yeah, so, and then the green part, I get them out like this. 
and here again you put too much onion there can never be too much there can never be too much onion, can onion. Can too much onion so don't worry yeah. according to your taste you can put as little as you like as much as you like so what's great about kimchi is it's like completely customizable to what you your, yes yeah. and very versatile you can eat it with anything you like with a steak I eat it with like breakfast, like eggs, <laughs> and then like in the afternoon I put it on a sandwich, and then for dinner we like having it on the side. I'm, I'm telling you, we eat so much kimchi that I'm always at the Korean store buying bags of them. And it's like oh. $13 a bag, and it only lasts like a week, because yeah. we eat it so often. Yeah, and this way, it costs a lot less. I don't know how much lesser it is, but I'm sure at least... Oh yeah, because I mean like a head yeah. of cabbage is probably like what? I don't know. I don't know uh, well, uh, typically in Korean store, they're about 80 cents a pound for oh, the okay. cabbage. So, which is a cheap five pounds, it's only four dollars. Right. And a little bit of ingredients you use, I mean, it's not very much. And you know, typically onions you get sometimes on sale for, you know, but I got a mine for four for a dollar. So, you know, 25 cents. So, you get by selling that with another onions, what have you, you can buy, get a big jar of kimchi for only. Seven dollars or right. so. No, they're really versus expensive. uh you pay <laughs> noodles jar for like seven or eight dollars. Yeah. So I think about cost wise about four times cheaper when you make it at home. Yes. Yes. And then I put this one in here okay. just like that. With the puree. With the puree. And then I use about half a cup of a again. Ooh, this is it. This is a Korean pepper, chili pepper. It's just red pepper pepper. Red pepper. And they're not really hot, but they have a good distinctive flavor. And so not have, gochujang, right? Not gochujang. No <laughs> gochujang, no chirachi, anything like that. Just a good Korean pepper. Oh, wow. And then I put about how much? About half cup. Half cup, okay. About half cup of these. There you go. Awesome. So this is a half cup, right? Yes, that's half cup. Okay, so I put about half cup. More or less, it doesn't matter. It's, if you don't like it too much, you put a little bit less. If you like it a lot, then you can put even a little bit more. So what you do is you just put it in. So this is what gives it the distinctive red color flavor. Color and also chili pepper. Okay. And it's different from Mexican peppers and anything like that. And then I, I just a spoon. Do you have a spoon too? Yes. Like a spatula? A spatula will be perfect. Too. Awesome. So I mix it, and by doing that, it, it kind of... Breaks it up. Break, not only that, the pepper kind of get dehydrated. Uh, it was a hydrator, right? Dehydrated. So it will be kind of hydrating a little bit, so it gets a see how different texture, kind of. See, it just it looks Ooh, good. Yeah? It looks so good. Mm, smell it. And it smells... <laughs> Yeah, it Garlic smells just like kimchi. Yeah, and some people oh. like for fishy sauce or shrimp sauce and what have you. But I like mine just a plain, so I didn't put anything else. That's mm -hmm. it. What you saw, that's what you see. And then I have this uh, cabbage I've been draining, oh, and yeah. I'm going to put it in here now. Okay, all right. I'm going to save a little bit for, uh, I made enough for the... Um, oh, okay. The the radish. Radish. So I'm gonna save some for radish. Okay. And then I save some for the, this one. And if I don't like the way how it tastes, I can put a little more pepper, a little more salt, whatever yeah, like you sneeze. want. Oh, must be the onions. <laughs> yeah, it's the onions. It like really gets to me. Yeah. <laughs> but see, and then just use your hand. And then use the best tools in the kitchen. Use That's right. The hand, very versatile, very good. And then it makes a very good um. Mixing tool too. Oh, wow! So you just mix them like you would, just it's like, like a tossing a salad. That's all it is. It's like massaging too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and you you give a tender care to your kimchi. Oh wow! And then it will, and then as it sits there, it will bring out the more colors from the radish. Radish gets blooming, uh -huh. and then it will give a color. Yeah, see, all the good stuff is in the bottom. Yeah, it's all at the bottom. So yeah. Dig in. <laughs> Dig in. So mix it good. Oh wow, this this is awesome. So at home, how often do you make this? Well, it depends on how fast we eat. Uh -huh. And um, keep you can keep it in your refrigerator for several months or several weeks. I should say it depends how long it keeps. Because it's basically fermented. So it's fermented. 
and so therefore they last a long long time and some people like real sour if you like a sour kimchi you let it set it out you know on the countertop for a few days it gets sour some people not so sour then you just leave it for you know overnight after you make it and then you put in the refrigerator and enjoy or you can eat it right the, the minute you made it and you can eat them too A bigger bowl would have been. I know. If I had a bigger bowl, this would be a lot easier. Yeah. It's like it's bathing kind of, the. <laughs> yeah, so you kind of give a little. So spreading a little bit the seasoning from the bottom. It's, you're like spreading the love. Yeah. With your hands. Mm -hmm. And then after you're done, you just put it in the jar. Put it in the jar, okay. Yes. Just you just want to show them that. real quick? Yeah. Just yeah, I mean you don't have to. I wash the jar really good with a. I think it's it, when you put it in the dishwasher washing, it sanitizes really well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then you just stuff it all in until yeah. it's full. Yeah, that's all there and is. And then to that's it. all there is to it. Yeah, and then you taste the kimchi. If it's salty enough for you or hot enough for you, then you don't need to put it anymore. But if you need a little bit more salt, it does. It tastes not enough salt in there or not hot enough for you. And then you can put more. Okay. Okay. So Judy, would you like to give it a try? Yeah, sure. Take out the leafy area. Oh, you want? Oh, I thought you wanted me to like. <laughs> oh, I'll stick my taste hands it, in there. It. I thought it was taste it. See what you think. No, oh, that is great. Take oh, it is spicy. Is it spicy? Yeah, but it's like the perfect amount of salt. Oh, it is spicy. Maybe I'm like taste. very sensitive to spice, so that's why I'm like tearing up. But mm. this is so good. Mm. But then it's set for a day or so, mm. it's not so spicy because the yeah. your onion will be melted out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. Okay. I think now we're going to put it in the... Okay, yeah, let's put it in the jar. Jar. Oops, sorry. And then when I put it in the jar... Cram it in there. Just cram it in there until it doesn't fit no more. I just mix them as I go a little bit. I think there's enough salt in there, right? Yeah. And then hot pepper. And then... The wide mouth jars are... Yeah, wide mouth jars yeah, are Because then you can like cram your fist in there. Yeah, not only that, it's just easier to, to put Fill, things. Yeah. yeah. See, you can see I got all that onions in it. Yeah. It's kind of all the right. Yeah, in. they're all like yeah. evenly distributed. Yeah. So, it just so these are half gallon jars. Um, I have three of them. So. Okay. So you. Wow. Just scrambling. Just scrambling. <laughs> this is exactly what they do, right? Yes, and then. And then I just wipe it and I just fill it up about like there so. Okay, so there's still a little bit of headroom. Yeah, a little bit okay. of headroom. Okay. Up so, and this is done. Okay? okay. And then we put this in another jar. Okay. And then, then, yeah. And then, how long? So it just sits for overnight yeah. and then so you let can eat it. Wipe it off your mouth with a piece of paper towel. Okay, okay. So. Yeah. Yeah, let's wipe it off the mouth. Like that. Yeah, and so this kimchi has no MSG, no sugar, but yeah, it tastes sweet and crunchy and good. So I hope everybody likes it. Yeah, I hope you guys make Look at it. That pretty color. This is so amazing. Yeah, and then you let it sit on like the room temperature for say overnight, and then you put it in the refrigerator and then enjoy. Yeah. And if you like the sour, maybe leave another day or so until you like the taste. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Now let's go to the radish. We have a Okay, let's do the radish. Okay. Okay, so. And then we're gonna do the radish kimchi. So they're two yeah, separately I, different, or two separate kinds. Yeah. Um, you can certainly do it together, but she likes it separate because it's like a different flavor, you were right, saying. Right, right. And then. Oh, um, okay. This was what you reserved. Yeah, right? I reserved this one for that purpose. Okay. So I'm gonna put it in here, and if we can get another jar. Oh, yeah, another jar. Yeah. Mm. Again. Here's another half gallon jar. Awesome. 
Oh my gosh, look at all the kimchi that I'm gonna have. Ooh. Jason's gonna be so excited. <laughs> Look but now this. he's going to ask me to make it all the time, which is great because now I know how to make it all the and time. And it's a simple, simple. It's so simple. It's, yeah. it? it's just all you have to do is chop, put some salt. Yes, exactly. A lot of the time it's just basically sitting here. Yeah, so you have to do nothing. Yeah. <laughs> and let's see how already done. Yeah. You want to give it a try? Yes. Mm. The same thing. Oh my gosh. You let it sit Sorry. for like overnight or so, and then you can put in the refrigerator. Oh. Oh. I love this. The same recipe, just different ingredients, different. It's a cabbage instead of a radish. So you could serve these two together. Like, together? Uh, yeah, like a side yes, dish. Yeah. So it looks like you got more than one dish, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> instead of one kimchi, you know, you got two different kimchi. Hey. And eat. so this can sit, like, same time? Yeah. like. You can eat a kimchi. P Korean people, they have, uh, when you go to people's house for eating, they have a radish kimchi, and we call it those betchu, <clears throat> we call it leper cabbage kimchi. They have different kimchis. Just Korean people, just uh, they can serve the same time, okay. no problem. And because they can sit around the same time? Like, so oh, this could yes. be like a couple weeks? Oh, same. It okay. lasts a long time. Okay. Yeah. Mm. And then... And look at that. <laughs> Another half gallon jar. Yeah. Yeah. We don't want to lose any. Yeah, you don't want to waste it. <laughs> so we just put it like that, and then we let us kind of press down so that no air holes on them. Mm, yeah. And then we wipe it off with a piece of uh, clean uh, paper towel. There we go. We wipe the, the lid. Yeah. And then we're done. And then we have. Two. Two kimchi. So one with the nap cabbage, one that is the radish. And now this just sits overnight at room temperature. That's it. And enjoy it. <gasps> thank you so much. This oh, you are amazing. Welcome. Oh, thank you. Was it easy enough? It was so easy. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's it. Cool. We're well, done. Yay. All right. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Oh. Cool. Well, I will post the recipe on my blog, and you guys can hopefully try this for yourselves at home. Bye. <laughs>